Hi guys, welcome to part three in this Microsoft Access HR database session. What I want to cover in this module is how you can link tables together to start creating a relational database. So just to recap so far, we've just got a simple table with some stuff in that. And we did a lookup table with some cities in that we can access from this staff table so that's the look up that's what we did so what i want to do now is create a third table which is going to be a courses table so create um table design that one so the first one will be course id and then that'll just be a number so let's just leave that as a number and then we want course type level this is the level of the course and I'll do um, a little value, li value list there if I drop that down and select combo change that to value list and then I can just put the levels I want so level one semicolon remember level two semicolon and level three those are the three I want and then um, date of training I'll have a date field so that's a date time and then again I want to put an input mask on that I'll have to save the table first and I'll call this TBL courses TBL courses and then click OK to that no primary key I'll set my own primary key which will be that one course ID primary key now on this field here I want to go back to general and click on the input mask and the three ellipses to set a um, input mask of short date that's what it's going to look like when people try and type in there short date even that's it and then just finish that so that's the date of tra training and then I need a field that's going to link these two together which will be the staff ID which is a number field um, I better just check that is a number field actually let's just quickly go into design on that so yeah it's a number field so I'm okay with that so that will be the one that links it together so I've got a course date of training level staff ID and then you could do other fields you could come back on this but I just I just want to link this up for now if I quickly have a look at what that's going to look like save it so there you go you've got your auto number staff id so what i should do there is have a look up to the staff id table so i'll go back into design and select a lookup that will get me who the people are when i select it in so it's going to be a combo box it is going to be a table and query and it's going to look at tbl staff details and i want to look at more than one column so i'll say go for four columns uh, column width so if I do two centimeters and list width if I put that to 10 it should be okay and then you've got the option there to limit to list um, which means you cannot select add somebody else which is what I'm going to do actually I'm going to limit that to, to to list I'll select that to yes and then let's just see how that works and so if I save that have a look staff ID drop it down gives you the people there now let's close that down so what I want to do is um, in fact I'm going to put this to an auto number before I start doing anything so it automatically creates it and then save that right so now I need to link those two tables together so I'm going to uh, database tools relationships and then I need to add the courses table and the staff details table and then I'll just expand both of these so you can see everything so the primary key in this table is staff ID and then the foreign key as it's called in that table is also staff ID but it's not primary that one is primary all you do is you just drag across drop it on top of the other one comes up with one to many which is what I want one person can do many courses 
Now, this is quite important. If I tick that, it basically will stop me creating a staff ID person if they don't exist. Well, I've already limited it, the lookup to the list anyhow, so that should work as well, but I'm going to do that as a double whammy. Clicking create, I get the one-to-many symbol like so, and then I close that. Yes, I do. So now that's created, that is the link that will be in um, this database, linking these two together. So if I just create myself a course, now I haven't got a list of courses there, so I could do a lookup for that as well. I won't do every single course, but I'll just, um, I could do a table a bit like that one, a lookup one. In fact, that's what I will do. I'll do a table, create table design. So we'll do for course name. I'm not having a primary key. It's just going to be text. That's all I want. And then I'll save that. Yep. TBL courses LU lookup. So I know what it is. Okay. No primary key. I don't want a primary key. I don't need a primary key. It's just a list. And then I'm just going to add the courses. So I'll just add a few. So Excel, Access, Word, PowerPoint, for example. That'll do. And then obviously you can keep adding to that. So I'll close courses down and do the lookup on here. Oops. So I can get the lookup table. Uh, design view. So course type, that's going to be a lookup because I've now created a table. I can just get that. So combo table courses LU. So I know which one it is. Courses LU. Only one column, one column. Um, I'm going to limit to list as well. So change that to yes. Save this. Save this. Have a look. Okay, so now I should have a drop down. So I'll select Excel. I'll select the level, level one. I'll select the date. So I'll just put today's date in there. And staff ID, I'll select the person that's doing this course. That person. Then I'll tab off it, ready to go. Now, what you can do now is you can create a query that will display people and the courses that they've attended. So if I create a query, and do query design and then just get rid of the property sheet and add tables you don't need that there because you can just drag them from here staff details and courses the link will come through that we did in the relationship window so now i can for example double click first name and surname and double click course type level and date of training there let's see what that comes up with if i run that just comes up with one person, me, doing that course on that date. Save that as query courses. And then OK to that. So as other people do courses, other staff members do courses, you, they will appear in this list in this query. So if I just follow that through and do that exact thing. So if I go into the staff details table, so let's look at this. So we've got Dave Jones. So we'll pick Dave Jones. So I'm in the courses table. I'm selecting access. I'll go for level two. Press tab D today, control semicolon, student ID or uh, staff ID, Dave Jones. Click off it, close that down, run the query, pick see the person up. So that's working okay. Now, I know I've got this as staff, um, you could have it as customers, it's up to you. But this is just an internal sort of database, HR, who's doing what. So now you've got a list of which members of staff have done which courses and when they did it. Close that one down. So that's all I want to talk about in this little session. On the next session, we'll build this up and do a few more complicated queries, a couple more tables. We'll have a sickness table, holiday table and things like that, and we'll have it all linked in. So hopefully this little video was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.